it's been so long since I have recorded that I forgot that I was talking about this already. Um, this is uh, The Lit Optimist talking about uh, Scarlet Knight. Uh, in this second installment of the Julie Hayes series, Julie has returned home with her husband Jeff after taking a month-long vacation with him in Paris. Their love renewed. She longs to own the perfect painting over their mantelpiece. mantelpiece. Um, she meets an artist, Ralph Abel, and instantly... And inst I said Anne instead of and. And instantly falls in love with one of his paintings, Scarlet Night. What's crazy is Ralph is willing to part with it for a slim hundred bucks, but Julie soon finds that this painting is more trouble than it's worth. Uh, another mystery unfolds. I like this one way better than the last one. I I thought that these would be these, these would all be terrible except for the third one. I spelled I spelled it four, for the third, for the third one. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I remember this one. So it's cringe as fuck. I don't I don't know if I mentioned the first one. So she's married, and he often goes off on business, and he's a much older man. She seems like a pretty, like, she's bored. She's bored as fuck, so she becomes a psychic in the first book. And then she closes that down in between one and two. I think near I think near the end of the first one. Like, she she doesn't see that many clients. Um, and, But she still, like, owns that shop. I don't know, it's weird. Um, In the second one, she comes back. I was taking a month long vacation with him in Paris. She's very like infantile with him. Like she's very like it's creepy. It's, it's like ew. Like why are you like? And then, and then she even says it herself. She's like I discuss myself with how I uh, become so like childish with him and stuff. Like it's just it's like yeah, that's fucking gross and weird. Um. Yeah, there's the there's the painting, and then Sweet, uh, what's his name, Sweets Romano? Sweet Romano, Sweets Romano? The mob boss from the first one, um, he and Julie kind of become, like, uh, friends. Like, very, like, at arm's length, uh, acquaintances, business partners almost. Like, it's very, like, people are like, you better watch out for that Sweets Romano, you know, you don't want to get wrapped up in the mob i know you're bored as fuck for some reason but chill out and like yeah and then she becomes like a police informant at the same time so she's like she's like an informant for the police but she's also helping out sweets romano and yeah the ralph abel i think he disappears in this one and they have to find out what happened to him the painting is like a stolen painting or something i just remember being so invested like oh okay i can see what, the first one is just so fucking weird. There's a pimp. Um, there, she's a she's a psychic. She owns a she's a phony psychic, just because she's fucking bored. It's a, it's so weird that people were like, hmm, like this. I want to see where this is going, just because of the clusterfuck that this is. The second one was like, okay, now we got to try to actually like have an outline of where the fuck Julie Hayes is going. Like, where is she going? with all of this who is she as a person let's talk more about her marriage like let's talk more about her relationships and let you know let's get down to the nitty-gritty and like actually like have a, a plan for this for this uh this tale this saga that we're creating um the third one we'll talk about next week is the one that i read in the psych ward um the first one that i read i remember coming back from the psych ward and i was like man i just like jumped head just dove into that story and then i was like ah oh, shit i gotta read these other two real quick um so we'll talk about that next week oh gosh oh. you guys <clears throat> have a good one take care